What's up, Wildcats? I'm Alexandra. And I'm Samantha. Welcome to this week's Wildcat News. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'll be like, Jack, what's up, Wildcats? I love. For today's lunch, we have fish nuggets, cheese and pepperoni pizza with the side of fresh orange wedges and fresh corn cobbits. Enjoy the lunch. The weather for today, Friday, February 4th, is a low of 70 and a high of 78 degrees. For the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday have a low of 68 degrees and a high of 78 degrees. Enjoy the nice weather this weekend. On Sunday, we saw the Cincinnati Bengals face off against the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship while the San Francisco 49ers played the Los Angeles Rams in the NFC Championship. The Bengals beat the Chiefs on a game-winning field goal to complete an 18-point comeback in the second half. Here's a clip of the game-winning field goal by Evan McPherson. This could be a sentence that a month ago would sound incomprehensible. From 31 yards, McPherson and Cincinnati is heading to the Super Bowl. He called it again, I'm sure. He walked up and he goes, can you believe, coach? We're going to the Super Bowl. Moving along, it's been a great week for Miami sports. The Florida Panthers are rolling and are on a seven-game winning streak. Furthermore, the Miami Heat have been playing great and are currently second in the Eastern Conference and have a record of 32-19. and 19. They have lost two games in a row, but look forward to bounce back versus the Toronto Raptors. Last week, it was announced that some of our very own magnet students were awarded with Scholastic Awards. We had one gold key winner, two silver key winners, and 12 honorable mentions through the whole school. Here's some more information. As you may have heard, quite a few of our magnet students have won awards in Scholastic's competition. We interviewed some teachers and students who received honorable mentions, silver keys, and even gold keys. How does it feel to know that your students are representing the school in regionals? It's a great feeling. It's nice to see the hard work that they place into their images be recognized and, and showcased um, district-wide. Um, it's important for students to be able to have a sense of accomplishment. Extremely proud of all of my students. Uh, I couldn't hold back my tears yesterday when I found out uh, that they are going to be representing us at the regional level and also having one of the the groups that uh, submitted work at Scholastics getting the gold key, which means uh, they will be competing on a national level now in New York City with their project. Uh, I will be uploading uh, their winning projects in our school's websites on their broadcast, where we have our own website, um, and also in our YouTube, so you guys can uh, enjoy it. Um, Again, I'm extremely proud of all of my students as well as all of the teachers here at South Miami Middle School for uh, producing the type of students and individuals that we are. What type of project did you submit? Um, we submitted a stop motion film because we thought it was the best project that we had done all year. And yeah, that's the reason why. What inspired you to make your project? So our group is very interested in stop motion animations. So that's basically when you take a whole bunch of pictures and you combine them to turn them into a video and we decided to do this with Legos so yeah we thought it turned out pretty well. Our group received the Scholastics Gold Key Award for our film. How did it feel when you received your award? Um, it was kind of surprising like I didn't think it was real and I had to ask for proof it was like I don't know <laughs> it was like how long did it take you to make your project? On the whole it took us about three months with writing the script, filming and editing it. Did you think you would win the award when you submitted it? No, not really. Also because we had to get rid of all good music due to the copyright issue. What inspired us to make this project is we were all going through like, I guess a depressive state since of COVID and quarantine. And really we just were thinking about how like the memories that we had and the memories that like what we had before COVID and how like we, we didn't have masks and how we could do things together and like certain things like that. We submitted kind of like a PSA, I would say, which is like a, like an announcement type of thing. Like to say that like you're not alone, that everyone has gone through like a depressive state with like quarantine and like we know how it feels. No, because I don't think that our package was good enough and long enough to even get an honorable mention or a silver key. 
How did it feel when you received your award? It felt shocking because I didn't think we were going to win because I didn't think our package was good enough. Okay. How does it feel to know that your students are representing the school? It is always such a pleasure to work with such talented students and then to have them get pieces that not only do well at the school level, but go out into the community and then they get selected to represent our school. That's huge. I mean, from what I heard, public school, middle schools for scholastics, there were only like seven of them. South Miami had 15 students in that show. All the other schools had two. So that's remarkable. Who or what inspired you to make your project? Well, I really like perspective drawings and drawings that are like hard to draw. I, <laughs> and it was funny because I didn't know the Scholastics was announced that day. So I came to her office, her room after school and I asked her if I got in an award and she told me I got a silver key and I physically jumped up and down and squealed. <laughs> That's really cool. um, how long did it take you to make your project? Um, the big one, it took me from September to December, it took really long. And this one I worked on for all summer from 7th grade to 8th grade, I worked all summer on it. Um, I really like um, making portraits of myself. Uh, high schools also like it, so I mainly made this piece for auditions, but I ended up getting it. We would like to congratulate our students who won awards in this classics competition, and we would like to wish our gold key winners luck in the nationals. That's all for this week's newscast. Once again, I'm Alexandra. And I'm Samantha. See you next week.